Okay, we've got an interesting integral here today from the MIT integration B 2022 regular season number three. We have integral from pi over two minus one to pi over two plus one of cosine of arc sine of arc cosine sine x dx. Okay, at first I really didn't want to deal with all of this stuff here because it just seems like a pain to kind of untangle all that. But what I found was actually with one substitution, we can clean this up quite a bit. Just noticing because we have sine here, what I want to do is a substitution that's going to make use of the complementary angle formula. If I do u equals pi over 2 minus x, then we could also rearrange this for x. We have x is going to be pi over 2 minus u. Then take a derivative. Our dx value is going to be just minus du. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to fix just this sine x. For sine x, now we're going to have, this is going to become sine of pi over 2 minus u. But this is the complementary angle formula for sine, and this is just going to be equal to cosine of u. So let's go ahead and substitute just using this. So first, we need to update our bounds. If we plug pi over 2 plus 1 in here, the pi over 2s cancel, and we just get minus 1. Plug pi over 2 minus 1 in here, it's just going to become a positive 1. Then basically just copying down all the first part until we get to just the sine. But now for sine x, we're just going to use this value here. This becomes cosine of u. And then our dx is going to be just minus du. But then I can take this minus sign and use it to flip our bounds so we get the positive one up top now. And then what we can notice here is this is actually an even function because if you plug in minus u here, cosine of minus u, is cosine's an even function, so you just get back cosine u. So with symmetric bounds, we can use the principle of even functions, change the lower bound to a zero, and we just need to bring a two up front. And then here's where we get the real simplification because now what we did, this part right here, this part right here is gonna be the same thing as u, but we have to be careful because what we need on this is we need the u value to be between zero and pi. If we, had, if we had negative values, it becomes minus u. But the thing is, we really don't have to worry about it because look at our bounds. All of our u values are between 0 and 1. Pi is something, of course, like 3.14. So this is fine, and we can take this whole thing and just replace it with u right here. But now that we have this, we can reduce it even further, just drawing our triangle. I'll put a label on this. I'm not going to do a full substitution. If I just call this t, let's say, if we have t equal to arc sine of u, then rearranging it takes sine on both sides. We just have u equals sine of t. So drawing the triangle, it's kind of unnecessary in a way because these always work out the same way when you just have sine. And what we're gonna want here, this whole expression is cosine of t. So you kind of just remember this, but let's do the triangle really quick. So for sine of t, I can write it as u over one. Sine is gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. So we can write it u one for the hypotenuse. Pythagorean theorem, find the third side, one minus u squared. So for our integral, what we need is cosine of t, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, so we can get our value. Cosine of t is just gonna be square root one minus u squared. So now what happened is our whole integral just became square root of one minus u squared. Let me rewrite that. So we're just integrating zero to one, square root one minus u squared du. And at this point, you could do a trick substitution, but the thing to notice is this is really just the equation for the top half of a unit circle. Let's just look at the graph really quick. So now the reason it's just the top half of the unit circle is because the square root always is gonna return positive values. Just think if you had y equal to square root of one minus x squared, and we're not gonna worry about absolute values or anything right now, I'm just kind of demonstrating. So you square both sides on this, you're gonna get y squared equals one minus x squared, you rearrange it and you get this equation for the circle, x squared plus y squared equals one. And so this would be the full circle with radius of just one. So coming back here, area of a circle, pi r squared. So the full circle would just be an area of pi. Here we have half the circle, pi over two, but our bounds are just going from zero to one. So we just want the first quadrant, this area right here is gonna be pi over four. So we'll just plug this back in. Don't forget we've got two in front. The whole integral becomes just pi over four. Multiply it out for my final solution of this. We just get pi over two. And the pen is kind of, I think the pen's done. 
And so for my final solution, we just have pi over two. Okay, there you have it. Excellent problem today from MIT 2022. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.